Alright guys, welcome back to another killer video for today, and today we have a little bit of Hillbilly gameplay for you all. <clears throat> now, this is, uh, I'm recording this intro afterwards, because I just want to quickly talk about, uh, I played very poorly this game, I'm going to be 100% honest. Uh, I missed a lot of chainsaws, I had a lot of easy opportunities, and I ended up getting a little bit tilted because of it, so I do apologize in advance for that. But I do think this game is a decent example to show how uh, how Hillbilly really hasn't been changed too much at all, thank god. Now for those of you who don't know, Hillbilly did receive a change to his chainsaw where now he, it has what's called an overheat mechanic. And whenever you're chainsawing, whether, or whether you're charging it up or you're actually running with the chainsaw, it will actually start generating heat and overheating and the little carburetor, I think it's a carburetor, will start turning red, uh, like orange and red and eventually it'll start making noises like it's starting to overheat too much. And in the bottom left, in the chainsaw icon, you can actually see how much meter you have left till it finishes overheating. Now if you overheat, essentially what it does is it's going to take you out of your chainsaw and you won't be able to use it until the... Um, until the bar goes completely back so it, it basically punishes you for staying trying to feather your chainsaw for too long but believe me I tried I tried overheating it towards the end of this game and it takes so long so honestly the nerfs they gave him to his power aren't really that impactful thank god <laughs> honestly I, I think they did a really good job with this rework on Billy when it was on the PTR or PTV, whatever it is for Dead by Daylight. It looked really bad for a little bit because they nerfed the shit out of him, but they toned it back. They made it so that his nerfs only apply, or his nerfs are basically only for his add-ons. So, And that's exactly what I think he should have had. Anyways, let's get right into our build. We have our classic Billy build here today with Whispers. So whenever End of Story is within 32 meters of me, I will know. This is a good perk for Billy on most maps because of his insane mobility. It allows him to check everyone on the map really quickly and figure out where survivors are very quickly in the game. Next up, we have Barbecue and Chili. Barbecue and Chili makes it so that whenever you have, whenever you hook a survivor, anyone that's 40 or more meters away from you on the hook will be revealed to you for four seconds, and you will gain 25% extra blood points all the way up to double blood points at the end of the game for each individual survivor you've hooked. Next up we have Hex Ruin, this is a perk where whenever somebody gets off a generator, as long as the Hex Totem is up, uh, that generator will instantly start regressing by 20, uh, by 200% instead of the regular 100%. Meaning that if a generator were normally to take 40 seconds to regress when you kick it, it'll only take 20 with Hex Ruin. And this is a really nice perk for high mobility killers because they can force people off of generators really often, making it so that Hex Ruin will regress these generators very quickly. And last but not least, we have Pop Goes the Weasel. Whenever you hook somebody, you will have between 40 and 60 seconds to kick a generator. And if you kick a generator uh, within this time, then he, that generator will instantly regress by 25% of its total progress, which is just a really solid backup to Hex Ruin for this build. Now for our add-ons, Hillbilly has received a ton of new add-ons, and I'm not going to go over them today, but we are going to be running the Junkyard Air Filter to slightly increase the overheat limit on the chainsaw making it so you can rev it for a little bit longer before it overheats basically and the dad's boots to moderately increase the sprint steering while you're, I mean your chainsaw your, your chainsaw sorry so it allows you to control where you're going a little bit more now as I've said this game was <laughs> this game was a little rough I was a little annoyed because they brought a map offering to a map I really hate playing on but anyways guys let's get right into the video oh man I don't want to play on this map. It's fine though. <clears throat> Alright, so I'll walk around until I see whispers click on, then I'll try and use whispers. Oh my god, it's all over here. They're trying to turn where they are. I heard a crow probably about another lane over here. To my left, maybe? Nope. To my right? I fucked up. I honestly, I didn't see that uh, Kate for the longest time. That yeah, was a really. Did I... Oh, I thought I saw someone hiding there. So she made a smart decision there and ran to the pallet. She saw my ruin, unfortunately. Okay, this Kate's way smarter than I've given her credit for. 
Unfortunately, you can't hit people while they're going over a pallet because it's super buggy that way. Mm, I didn't turn enough. Damn it. I'm gonna leave her because she's playing this pretty. How did I hit that? Cause she's playing this pretty smart, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try and front someone else. I don't hear this generator on and all. I don't see a generator with any progress either. I don't know where these guys are. They should have been able to pop the generator maybe to here by now. Okay, I'm still not used to playing Hillbilly. I have not played this guy in a long, long time. Alright, he was the only one on it. He has frame burst as well, so I don't have to worry about that hard. So he didn't uh, play the pallet, and it didn't really look like he was looking behind him too hard. Uh, maybe he was. Look at him just trying to stealth away. So they did a generator I literally could not care less about. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. He's going to run straight back to this pallet. So I'm just going to cut through here and break it immediately. He didn't run in. Did he run in the room? Why are the scratch marks? Why did he just cut out? They literally just cut out for half that fucking path. My rune's probably gonna go soon as well. This guy's literally just running from pallet to pallet. Thankfully, that Kate is nearby as well, so I'm gonna split off from him and go to her now. Oh, uh, she came to the left, smart. I have not been able to get a single fucking hit so far, dude. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> this is not the best start for me at all. Did I see someone else over here? I. Oh, yeah, I did. There's two people in this room. And unfortunately, okay, you got greedy as fuck to try and go for that. Yeah, that's not surprising to me at all. I'm gonna use this to break down the pallet. I'll pick her up over here. She got greedy for the flashlight, so or for the flashlight blind. You don't blind billies or leather faces while they're breaking the pallet with their chainsaw. There's no point. I don't see this guy. Oh, I see someone over here. Never mind. I'm still trying to get used to his new auras. He has print birth. That's why he's not running right away. Yep. I meant to fucking go around it, but I didn't. This map kind of sucks for Billy, if I'm honest. You can't really make use of the best part of his kit, which is his ability to have movement all over the map. He's going back to that pallet. I mean, I could try and mind game it over there. Probably wouldn't be too hard, but I want to come interrupt these guys if I can. <laughs> Thankfully, this arena isn't running anywhere too useful for her. She'll probably run to locker, get in a locker. <laughs> Why are you doing that? She's dead hard. Why am I not surprised? I'll wait right here. She'll vault it slowly. Oh no, but she'll double back. That works for me as well. Unfortunately, I can't hook her because of decisive strike. But I can't come pressure these generators. Do I see that generator on? Yes, I do. I tried to curve in through here. Alright, that generator uh, that just got fucked up up top is a generator I don't care about at all. Thankfully, since I am playing Billy, I can get through these pallets pretty quickly. And these guys seem to be dropping them pretty quickly as well, so... Eventually, they'll run out of pallets. Someone's up top over there on that generator, but like I said, I don't really care about that generator too much. Just barely missed him there. That was good on his part. Good movement. Bad aim on mine. I mean, that just comes down to experience on the killer, because as I said, I haven't really played this killer in a while. She's on the other side of the squad. Which way is she gonna run? Damn it! Nice body block from the Meg. I'm gonna do this, and then turn back around, see if I caught this arena off guard at all. 
No, she just committed to running this direction. I should have just kept going. Fuck. They're not in this generator anymore. Honestly, Ruin's doing a shitload of work for me. If this totem goes, it's gonna hurt me real bad because I'm not really doing too much to pressure these guys. I thought I heard that on. I'll come back and check this generator over here. Ah, man. Spray burst on the bill, spray burst on the Kate now. <laughs> Thankfully she ran somewhere where I could hit uh, down her for sure. I've only hooked the Zarina right now, so hooking this Kate's not gonna be the best thing in the world for me. But I kinda have to. I have to get some hook states on other people at this point. Alright, these guys are gonna try and finish this generator probably. Thankfully they can't. I went in that room, dude. Jesus. I don't know how the fuck I didn't see him. And he just fucking hit. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna stop going for a chance on this villain. I'm gonna go for a regular hit. Clearly, he's moving way better than I can. Actually, I don't know, maybe. God damn, dude. Fucking dedicated server jukes are so hard to hit. People turn so fucking fast. Alright, I'm gonna double back over here to check this generator. It's not on, so I'll come back and check my other, my other generators. Thankfully, Ruin's not in the worst spot in the world. Oh my god, dude, it fucking lagged me to the left. Are you joking? Like, this Bill's movement is so bad until I go to fucking chainsaw him. So, you know what? I'm done going for the chainsaw. He's fucking trying to play the worst spot in the world. How am I fucking not hitting this guy? I'm so bad. I'll come back, check his uh, generator first. I don't hear it at all, so I'll just chainsaw back over here. Get some efficiency out of this. I don't want to slug him because it's a bail probably as uh, unbreakable. As much as I'm starting to pick up a little bit of pressure towards endgame here, this is not good enough. I want to try and interrupt that generator. Like, this would be crucial if I could interrupt it. I gotta stop fucking running into shit though. That would be helpful. Whoever this is has sprint burst, that's why they're not running. I don't know where they went though, unfortunately, so they're probably just gonna get back on the generator right away when I leave. Thanks to Ruin though, I am putting a lot of pressure on the generators just by existing, really. Okay, I can get a hit on her here for sure, I think. Maybe not. This loop is so strong for survivors, dude. Now she just got that window, yep. Hold up. I couldn't hit that if I wanted to, and of course getting down this fucking hole is a pain in the ass. Now she's gonna have this pallet instead. I just have to go for regular hits at this point. I can't... I just don't like playing on this map. <laughs> I can't go for chainsaws, really, because a lot of these areas are really tight, and I'm not good enough at hillbilly to, to be going for them. Thankfully, Meg didn't take a hit for her and let me get the easy down. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna hook Zarina first in case she has Unbreakable. I wanna get her on the hook because she's on second hook now. These guys are probably gonna be rushing a generator while I'm up here though. I wouldn't be surprised. That's what I would do at least. So I'll put her on the hook then I'll... Thank you. That's awesome. He's probably gonna unhook her right away when I come pick up the Meg. Is anyone on a generator? I don't see anyone on a generator. Is Meg's thinking she's smart by crawling all the way over here? Uh, she was gonna try and drop down right when I came to pick her up, but I mean, jokes on her, I wanted to drop down anyway. Yeah. 
that sucks, but thankfully Bill is self-caring over here instead of actually, you know, being useful to his team. He's not even self-caring in a good area. He's literally just relying on the fact that he has Frimpers. Frimpers won't save you here, man. I'm gonna come back here and defend this hook really hard. I'll kick this right away. I know the mech's to my left. And I'm gonna make sure this Zarina dies right now. Bill probably has Unbreakable and he's probably gonna pick himself up here in a couple seconds, right? But I need to defend this hook. All right, she's dead. Thank God. Where is Bill? Didn't have him breakable, or else he would have picked himself up. All right, getting that kill is really important to me. I'll have everyone's on second hook at least now, so I hope it's in a much better spot. That was really laggy, Jesus. All right, so really rough. Hello. Really rough early game, but I've brought it back a little bit. I don't... okay. I hate myself. This is too tight a corner to turn for me. Bill ran off to my right. Ooh, Meg's over here as well. Uh, damn it. Well, she ended up losing, like, all the dis- uh, What?! I mean, she ended up losing so much distance, but it doesn't matter, because fucking... Okay, I love- I love how fucking Sarai's from jumping in and out of a locker is the fucking best counterplay to getting hit. Because you can't fucking hit them. Sorry, I'm just a little salty about that, uh, hit not going off. Bill just finished healing himself. Yeah, do you have your sprint burst back? That's why he isn't running. He has a sprint burst. I'll make him run. That was so laggy, and now I don't know where he is because it was so laggy. He's gonna drop his pallet immediately. That's why he charged it so early on my chainsaw. I thought this would go straight for a lot longer. Mm. This is why we don't camp pallets like this, by the way. This is one of the most unsafe pallets in the world. If he had literally just kept running, he would have been fine. Do you, do you not see me right fucking here? Thankfully, a lot of these survivors don't know how the fuck to use a flashlight at all, so it gives me a free down. All three of these guys have sprint burst, which is kind of a pain in the ass for me, if I'm honest. I'm just gonna pick this guy up. Meg doesn't know how to use a flashlight at all, so I don't... I'm not worried about this in the slightest. Yeah, that's not how you use a flashlight at all. They're body blocking for him so he can get off. I think I should be able to hook him still though. Yeah, good job. Good body block, you fucking shitter. <laughs> ah, man. That let her out? Wait, me fucking that up let her out? I'm upset about that. I fucked it up on purpose there to see what she would do, but I didn't realize it was gonna fucking just move me so far I was gonna let her out. What the hell? Alright, well, I'll just kill her. Uh, thank you, Kate, for showing me where you are exactly. She has her sprint burst ready though. Yep, I also try and hide. So unfortunately this wasn't really a great map to show off new Billy. But honestly, 
from I I revved for a pretty long time sometimes throughout this game and I honestly wasn't overheating too quickly. So like it was it's supposed to punish you for doing this a lot basically, but they they've fixed it so that he basically Billy is just as good as he used to be unless you're specifically trying to overheat his chainsaw. That's cool. So basically, honestly, they just nerfed Billy's add-ons for the most part, and honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's all he needed to get nerfed for. <laughs> Man, that was a really shitty game, though. I mean, it, it was an indoor map, as fucking he brought it. Why am I not surprised? Fucking dumbass retard Bill brought a fucking map offering. I hate map offering so much. I'm sorry. I know it was super toxic, uh, what I just said, but I really genuinely hate map offerings because they don't let... They, they just... They're stupid. I don't care if this map survivor sighted. Why would you bring an offering for an indoor map? It just makes it so fucking boring, the game. <sighs> Anyways, guys. I'll see you in the next one.